Welcome to day five of the Hunky Dory Hullabaloo Week of Webisodes. <laughs> and we are going to end this in a very classy fashion, I might <laughs> add. We're going to end it with the Deco Delights Luxury Card Kit. Right, Deco Delights is a real kind of a roaring 20s mm -hmm. kind of artwork theme, and it's got some very unique projects. Right, it's kind of an art deco look. Right, come, come play, play with, with us. us. Well, here is the kit, and as you can see on the front of it, there are some cards giving you inspiration. Lots of different ways to use yeah. that beautiful Art Deco style artwork. I think it's kind of fun that they used feathers on I do some too. of them. It's yeah, kind of neat little ostrich feathers. Now, on the back, there are more detailed instructions for the three specialty cards. Right. So we have a Deco slider card, a bookmark reveal card, and a Deco display card. Now, before we go any further, let me just hold this up. There's a ton of stuff in here. <laughs> There are 207 foil die cuts, but a lot of them are very large. So right, right. now this is going to do our... Our uh, bookmark reveal okay. card, and that, those are the base for the card. Right. So there are four of those. Right. And you also even get the ribbon. I think that's so nice that's because great. they don't yeah. have to do that. Right. And then here are, oh, I like this. Have a delightfully decadent day. I think that just <laughs> talks about the whole week. So that works. What's kind of fun about these is that it even, even has a tag down here that says lovingly handmade. So you can oh, put that on the back of nice. your card. Okay, so we're going to get four of these. So these are the match. elements, yeah. right, for the bookmark oh, reveal. Pretty. And it actually, there'll be a bookmark in there, which will be really neat. Very nice. Nice. on your special day so a couple of different events there mm. the next that we've come to is the deco slider card oh okay. these are the card these are the first base for the deco slider is this card. like the slider we saw the other day it is okay. it's very similar so this is but the, looks totally different right I mean, you know so that's nice okay <laughs> those, those are really great i love the i love this this is like howard hughes airplane style it is. it's very mm, cool gorgeous <laughs> Or Godzilla going to the top no. of the... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Sorry. laughs> um, and we have more. These are uh, to become like paper toll. So you can punch these out and layer them on top on of top, the matching right. art. So you've got yeah. a little extra depth there. Right. These are the display cards that you're looking at oh, now, okay. the deco display cards. And these are the bases Ooh. for those cards. Lots and lots of foiling that's on there. That's going to be a brand so new. So that's fun. And now we're going to be getting into the card toppers. OK. Which are always beautiful artwork. Wow. Look at that. Oh, this has got look a ton. Layers. Oh my gosh. Look at all of those nested frames. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. That's that's what I meant with uh, there's just some very okay. large, gorgeous now pieces. Now you know full on you could just take the center one and use all of these frames to frame pictures or anything you want. Anything else, Or use right. it on the card, however you like. Oh, very <laughs> pretty. More if you want to use it as paper towel or not. Lots of different sediments with all my love just for you. Oh, Very look, heavily to the special man in my life. There's even oh, a masculine nice. element there. That's all my nice. love just for you. Great. This is birthday wishes. And Tags. That's, mm -hmm. um, that's very true that Hunky Dory does always give you lots of ideas for sure. themes and so forth. Sure, so you can go anyway. You, there are lots of different events that these will cover. Ooh, pretty. I love all of these different colors. It's, yeah. it's just gorgeous. And, and the, the dresses shapes. alone are just <laughs> right. Lots of interesting We've got shapes. Some squares. I love the little cards. These, these are like baseball trading cards here. You they can collect are. those. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the uh, adorable scoreable. Now you are going to get, let's see, eight of them with the foiling, as you can see the flash on her dress. And sometimes right. they will be a border, sometimes mm -hmm. an all over an treatment. All right. So you've got so there are some, flourishes, yeah. there are lots of like architectural Ooh, designs pretty. in there. Oh, oh, right, those, those beautiful looks. I love the borders. I love that you can cut these up and use them in wow. pieces. You can use the entire, <laughs> that's pretty bright. You could really make that one go a long way. Then there are going to be eight more that are printed and very fun as we've shown in multiple mm -hmm. webisodes of how you might use those. And some with generic designs, some with right. the artwork to coordinate. And always the colors and the artwork that do coordinate with Ooh. the die cuts that you see. 
Very fun. Beautiful. And so there are eight of those if you were counting. And then you get to the envelopes yeah. that are just made for those a specialty shaped cards. Okay, well let's get into cards. Okay. Here is our first and this is just a really great use of that large focal. Now this happens to be on a center step card. Now as you know, you have them the option of doing them as die cut cards where you right. get them already done, has the paper patterns, or you can get the template. Right, and what's great about this is that you, didn't, you don't even really have to use the paper patterns for yeah. these. these. These are just strips of the adorable scoreable in the back and on the sides, piece at the top, and then the card toppers on top. How simple to make and how gorgeous to receive. And on the inside, just a piece at the bottom with one of the die cuts. So gorgeous and Simple easy. to put together and it looks more than that. It, it looks does. like you did more, Which spent is more time on it. Really, and this yeah. is the just for you card. Mm -hmm. Now here is another one that is quite smashing. Look at this. <laughs> this is a gatefold card, right. but more. This is the frame pop out. Now, there is not a template for this, so it's just the frame pop out. And let me show you. Ready? Okay. Okay. Ta da! And that just pops right out. Right and out in the that center. Perfect? So here is the frame that you're seeing back there. You see a little bit of it with this great jet black suede on there, but you've also got that large, very large die cut yeah. right on there. So that's perfect for those large die cuts. And this was layered uh, paper toll style. Mm -hmm. as you can see. You can elect to do that or not, your choice. Right. And yet those layers work perfectly on the inside of this card. And then Isn't just the adorable just scoreboard li lining the inside and the outside. I love the little strips right here yes. that make it look like a door practically. Those are borders. There. Just beautiful. And I you also can like that those. this was offset. Right. I also like that it's offset ah. a little bit to the left. Gives room for this, right. especially for you with love, but I just love how that pops out. Mm -hmm. And this card will stand up as you can see. Right. And so that the recipient can just really enjoy that art. So that's gorgeous. pretty. Gorgeous, that's pretty gorgeous. amazing. Okay, that's an amazing card. Now we're going to go to one of the specialty cards, okay. and this is the bookmark reveal. And uh, what this does, so you can see that scalloped edge that we saw on the inside. Right. And then as we pull this out, it reveals have a right. delightfully deck. I just <laughs> I want a decadent day, so this is Gail. <laughs> <laughs> well, then take one. Okay. You deserve it. Okay, but this is, what I like about this card is that there's several different, like, fun surprises. First, you've got that front, which is beautiful. You pull that up. Okay, you've got that uh, element there, but you also have a bookmark. Right. So this is a present for somebody, a bookmark, but you're not done. You still have to open the card. You've done all that and you haven't opened it yet. And there we have a ghosted image of that right. same artwork. So you could even and write on happy that ghost. Birthday, right, happy like. birthday. You could write on there oh, if you, you want. Could. Yeah, that I'm would not work. sure if was there something. You know, but I do like that it's double sided, so even on the back yes. of the card it's got that printed image. Very, so very finished. I'm very gonna show pretty. you how to okay. put that together. So here's the base that we were seeing. Here's the scalloped edge on the right. There's that great artwork. It is scored right here. So when it's finished, it's going to sit just like that. I'm gonna set that off to the side for now. And I'm going to bring in some of the other elements. Here is the base for your bookmark. Here is the artwork that's going to go inside the card, and here is the front box of that card. You're gonna start by popping out that center piece. Now, I went ahead and put foam tape on the back of there because this is the part that's going to be your bookmark. So place that on your bookmark. That's ready to go. Okay, ta-da, ta <laughs> ready to go for your card. Now, there are a couple of different ways to do this part. I want to say that I'm doing it just a little bit differently than Hunky Dory does it. Hunky Dory says you take this, you fold back these tabs. They are scored, there are two score lines here. And you're going to, from the front, you're going to mount and fold both of those. So that one and that one. And I'm going to go all the way around. This is doing, pretty much this is doing just what Skunk Hunky Dory says. And let's see, that one has to fold back too. And I'm doing it the same way that they suggest all the way around. This creates a, like a box frame. You'll see that there aren't any tabs up at the top because you have to have that opening 
for the bookmark to sit in there. Right. Okay, so at this point, now you have this little box. You can see it's like a box. And it says to attach this piece to the inside of these tabs so you have this little box before you attach it to your card. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's necessary. I think it's just as easy to go ahead and attach this first oh, just and then just right and then just put that box on there. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So you're looking at the card, it's going to go on this side. I've got my stick. You can use alter tape, it will make a nice uh, strong uh, finish that way as well. I'm going to make sure that it's attached all the way around. Go ahead and just line that up with the fold and with the edges. Make sure that I'm here on the edge of the card. There we go. All the way around. And I've got that right side so up. That's not going to go anywhere. Right, that's yeah. not going anywhere. Now, I have on the back of these uh, tabs that I fold over, I have alter tape. I'm just going to remove that all the way around. And then I just attach that box to the front of the card. Okay. So that's, I, I just think that's a little simpler. I would agree with you. Okay. Follow Gail. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. I think also I will start, I'm going to close the card just to make it easier. I will start on that fold on the left and that's where I'm going to place the tab right along that fold. I want to line that up. Maybe I'll do it this way so I can see it. I'm lining it up right on the edge. I'm going to look at the, try to look at the outside here so I can line that up just so. So there's the left side of that box. I'm going to tuck in the bottom and get the bottom lined up with the bottom of that card and then go around to this side and do the same thing. And that's sitting on top of that front panel. That's right. Yeah, it's not going around it when you're on this it. side. I'm it's still on top. on top of that okay. panel so that I can open the card just like that. Now I have a box there and that's where you place your bookmark. The ribbon that comes with it you just tie on the top there and then you can right. easily slide it out. So there you go. And if you want to put one of the um, inside greetings down at the bottom right. you can do that. Mm -hmm. I like this circle down here. I think that adds a really nice little decorative element and so easy yep. and so pretty. And it's a gift <laughs> card. That's what yeah. I like about it. Nice little gift. Very, very neat. So again, you can make four of those. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the... Um, Deco slider card. There you go. And this, as we saw the other day, has three tiers. But look at the decorative element at the top. Again, it's like the Chrysler building. <laughs> and um, you can see that. And, it, and it's very pretty. simple. It's really a similar construction to the other day. I can show you really quickly. Okay. Okay. Do we need to see it? Even though we kind of did it. Uh, yeah. 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 Just, just in case. Okay. So three pieces. They look like this. They are printed only on one side. So the large piece, I love that it has the to and from here on the back. That will be on the back. And then you've got this piece will be the center, the middle piece and then the inner. Now, this one doesn't have a little folded piece that I have to right. stick up at the top. All I have to do is just seal it. So there, taped it together, folded it. It is scored here, okay. so that is ready to go. Okay. So that goes here. Then I've got this piece, which is scored here and here. And I've got this little strip here. And remember, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to slide it through here. And I'm just, by eyeballing it, I'm sort of going to center it and fold it over. And then I'm going to tape those pieces together just so that it still slides up and down. Right. That's the, that's the key factor that it can right. still slide. Oops. I got it on there. I don't want any tape. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> only on that piece in the center. So that's, then I'm going to capture that by taping this side and this side right next to the fold and right next to the edge not within here, fold it over, lay it flat, that still folds. Now I'm ready to attach this. I'm only going to put tape on the slider. I'll put a little bit. Pull the slider all the way down to the bottom. You want to get this. I, I'm going to make it so that the entire piece sticks out the top, so I'm going to line this edge up with the edge at the top. I want to make sure that that is lined up. You see that? I'm lining it up. So the actual bottom of this will be at the bottom of that slider. You want it pulling all the way out. 
And then I'm going to put the tape on the edges. I'm sort of going over the edge a little <laughs> bit with it. Maybe I wasn't quite centered. I'll fold that over so it doesn't stick yeah, out. Yeah, good idea. Then when you close it, it'll close on the right and left. See, I didn't quite center that, did I? So that's, that's an important point. Make sure you've centered it right and left. I didn't do that as well, but it does still work. It comes up and down. And then the last piece is the large one. Fold over that right side. That's where the slots are. Turn this over. Slip it through like so. And then fold these over to the center. Same idea. I'm just folding it over. I'm going to tape just there so that it sticks. And I think that Paulette has fixed it. I didn't. That. I oh, couldn't. You tried. You I didn't have enough it. time to pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to tape this on, remember, it right on the edges and right next to the fold. Go ahead and all the way over like that. Slide it down. Oh, slide it down, which it's all the way down. <laughs> then the tape. Then place this piece so that this is lined up up at the top. See how I'm lining up? that open bit, whoops. See, that's why, because I got it off, it's yeah. not closing. If you center it, I was not. it's not going to do that. Um, got that slider all the way down. I'm gonna line this piece up, up at the top. Place it right so, that's about centered. And then tape here and right next to the fold. And then when we close it, Okay, you're looking at, oh, that's the back. But when you turn it over, I did it wrong. Well. <laughs> it, okay, I'm gonna fix that. Are you? Yeah, because this one you can, all I have to do is turn it over. <laughs> okay. That's an important point. When I'm putting it together, I know that here's the back and here's the front. Okay. I want the foil to be seen from the front, so I'm gonna turn it that way. Okay, got mm -hmm. it? Now got the foil it. is seen from the front. The slider's already all the way down. I'm centering that at the top. Now when I close it and turn it over. There you go. There we go. And that pulls so, up. And that pulls right up, right. like so. And what's different about <clears throat> this one than the one earlier in the week is that it has a larger top piece. Right. So it gives you the opportunity to use more of those uh, die cuts. Right. And then you can decorate that bottom area as you like. And notice that these are shaped uh, which is also a difference mm -hmm. to coordinate with the die cuts. So these in particular very, very also nice. have a little um, easel in the back, so oh. you can you can uh, glue there these two pieces together and then fold that, and you have an easel for the back That's of your nice. car, so it can yeah. stand up. So another mm -hmm. little extra bonus. So there you go, and that can do your sliding just as often as you like. Okay. Now there is another uh, specialty, card. specialty card. And stay tuned for the scrapbook page. Don't forget about that. Okay. This is very different. This is a deco display, display card. Display card, yes. And it's, so it has a little box. It will fold flat, by the way. Okay. So, so you we'll can mail like it in the envelopes that are provided. And her dress is going to insert into a slot right there. And but so there it is. Look. How pretty! There she are is. several steps involved in putting okay. that together, but it's such a—it's it, just beautiful. That—that's a nice little stand. It can sit on oh, someone's I, desk. I love all the like layering. That. Right, it and looks lots hard. of gold. <laughs> it looks hard, but I'm right. sure it's not. Okay, and again, this is one that has instructions. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You have a base here. Here's another one of the pieces. These two pieces are going to go together. I'll show you in a second. And then you'll do paper toll style. You'll oh. uh, stack this up. So that'll be this layered piece. I'll put that on in a little bit. I'm going to start with this piece. It's already scored along the lines that you see here. And starting from the left side, I'm going to valley fold. This is pretty important. <laughs> and then mount and fold. Ah, and then okay. I go over to this side, mount and fold, if I just continue on this way, and then valley fold. What that does is it makes sure that that center panel pops up. Okay. So this is how it's going to end up when you're done. So valley, mountain, mountain, valley. Right, <laughs> and then the little doll here gets placed right on the front of it. So you can just center that. I try to keep the bottom of it just 
just above the bottom of that piece there. Center it, you've got mm. that foam tip. And this will all be stacked up with paper tulle. Now I'm gonna set that aside for a moment, and I have these two pieces. This one is scored right in the center. I'm going to turn that over. This one is not scored, but it does match the shape you can see. And I'm going to put tape only on the top portion of the one with the tab. Okay. Okay, so I really want that to be pretty well anchored. So I'm gonna use tape right along all of those edges and then right above that fold line. Really wanna make sure that it's not going anywhere. And I line that up with the top of the back of this piece. There we go. So now when we're done, it goes like that. Oh. This is going to be on the back of your card so you can write something on there. This is on the front. This is where this piece goes. And so I would go ahead and put some tape along the tabs here on the back of this one. So just a little bit of, see if I can get it on there real quick on those, just on those wings that are sticking out. They're like little wings there. Mm -hmm. And that is actually gonna line up on the top of this piece. So when you look at it, you see that it, it sort of centers right over it and you're lining up those top edges. So just line it up and place it right on there. So that's where like you get so. the depth with those um, three layers. Right, so there, and now you have this, this open area back there and you have this piece Okay, kind of a stand. Yeah, like a stand. And then here's the base. And it is just, it's got these slots. It's got lots of scored lines. And every single one of them is going to be a mountain fold. So you're going to be folding it in <clears throat> like so. You fold it in. Those two edges are going to sit together oh. like this. So it really stabilizes. Right. right? So it does. Excuse me. <clears throat> so right here. I'm going to take it apart so I can show you. Let's see, so you can see this. You see those two slots there. I'm trying to show you those two slots. <laughs> sort of. There's a long one. There you go. And a short one. The long one, when this is all done, is going to be towards the back. You take this piece, you have that tab, put it into the long slot. That tab goes into the slot. So when you're done, this is going to sit up into the front oh, slot like okay. that. So the so tip the, kind of goes right. in there. So the main bit is now I've got that pulled up through this slot. I've got this back piece is going to fold in oh. and it's going to tape right there. That's going to really secure it in place, right. isn't it? Okay. So I'll go ahead and put tape along. You know, before I do that, let me go ahead and put the tape on the long piece at the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing at the other end. I want to make sure it's right in the center, too, mm -hmm. so that it gets that piece. All right. So here's the long slot. I'll do it again to make sure I have it right way. The long slot in the back. The tab goes in like so. I turn it over. I fold over the back piece. So now that it's sort of standing up like that, see that it's standing up like that, and attach, and this tab, you want it even with the bottom of that channel. So that really holds it. Right, so that'll hold it there. You fold this one over, and you're basically capturing it, that tab in between oh. those two pieces, like so. So important to know, get your right. direction right. <laughs> right, that's in there. And there it is. That's basically it. And then right. when it stands up, the front of it, the front of it sits in that tiny little slot in oh, front, lovely. and it stands. So the only thing that you haven't done that was done on this one is the paper toll, and then putting another die Make cut on, on the front. front. Right. So it really so, didn't take very long. And there's a paper toll. We can get a little closer to see that. Again, it's multiple layers, generally about three. You can really see it at her mm -hmm. shoulder. And um, we do recommend, I mean, you can use whatever foam tape you want. We like this type because it is thinner and it's also right. smaller. They're smaller pieces, <clears throat> so they're, they're already cut. Yeah. They're individually, you can put them on those tiny little areas, so yeah. it's really simple to do. Okay. And that's just a really fun card to Very get in the mail. Neat. That'd be great. Okay, <laughs> scrapbookers, okay. here we go. Now, Isn't that this beautiful? is just a 
beautiful page. It is. It does have black cardstock in the mm -hmm. back, and then this one long piece of adorable scorable there that just offsets these pieces. With the foiling on the side, mm -hmm. and then adding one of the die cuts. And then we have some beautiful petaloo flowers here, and here are one of the sentiments, wishing you all the best on your special day. So it's perfect <laughs> for an event like this. It These looks like maybe an anniversary. These are yeah, the Petaloo, you. the Penny Lane ones. This is the beautiful. apricot. It matches it perfectly. Oh, antique, <clears throat> antique peach. And I love the, the matting. So it's matted on a little black cardstock and then this beautiful foil accented adorable scorable. Very pretty. Just beautiful. And the dazzles that are there, you might think they're gold. They're not. They're brass. They're brass. Isn't yeah. that funny? Brass border dazzles and actually black jewel dazzles. Right, right there on the corners. But yeah. how striking. It's just a and beautiful combination. As we back up, you can just think about how easy this would be to duplicate for yeah. lots of special occasions. Right. So super simple. This is a die cut down here, one right. of the die cut borders. It's foiled. Down at the bottom, down up at the top. And then that beautiful, adorable scoreboard and some die gorgeous. cuts. So scrapbooking, card, card making, making, and some specialty right. cards Slider that are cards, unique. The bookmark reveal card and that great uh, deco display right. card. Right. So this ends our hunky dory hullabaloo. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed being with you. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see you next week for next a brand new webisode. See you then.